we look at the combined agenda, you know, whether it's vaccines, whether it's the pharmaceutical products, um, whether it's the GM foods, whether it's the fluorinated water, uh, the contaminated uh, air, there, this is a multi-pronged attack on humanity and it has been accelerated at a phenomenal rate of knots over the last century. I mean, up until even 60 years ago, or even less, 50 years ago, I mean, when I was, when I was uh, a kid, we didn't have a fridge. We didn't need a fridge because my mother bought fresh produce from the farm just up the road from here every single day. And that produce from the farm was pulled out of the ground either earlier that morning or at most the day before. The produce was fresh. In fact, the first time that we ever had anything like a fridge was in the winter of 63, I think it was, when we had massive snowfall and the back garden was three foot of snow and my mother was burying food in the snow. I don't think you do that today with today's snow, but back then you could put it in the snow and it would stay fresh. And you meant she didn't have to go to the farm every day. Um, and then by about the mid-60s, we got a fridge. And then over time, obviously the diet went from having fresh food every day to maybe fresh food um, two out of three days, then once every three days, and you know, until it actually gets less and less and less. I mean, my mother still buys fresh food, but that's normally for Sunday lunch today. You know, the rest of the week it would unfortunately be, um, uh, be packaged stuff from the supermarkets. Now, my parents are in their 80s uh, and they've enjoyed a, a full and reasonably healthy uh, life, as have many of their generation, because that generation grew up on healthy food. And that generation wasn't um, a prisoner of Big Pharma. You know, there was much more uh, attachment to natural medicines, to the old wise tales of, you know, well, this will cure this, or this will prevent this, etc., etc. All of this is gone. And today, you know, we, we are seeing a youth that is vaccinated the, from the moment of birth with all the toxins that the, the vaccines include. They're fed a diet of junk food. They're drinking water with uh, artificial chemicals added, whether it's fluoride or chlorine or whatever else, aluminium sulfate, aluminium sulfate rather. Um, they're eat, you know, the junk food is, is becoming staple diet, you know, with um, uh, a total lack of nutrition, vitamins. I mean, people might as well eat the cardboard that the fast food is served in. In fact, one might argue that the cardboard might even be considered to be more nutritious. And, and now, of course, we're seeing that attack continue with the, uh, the electronic assault. We're seeing the Wi-Fi. You know, young children being exposed to phenomenal levels of radiation. I mean, to see a, a two or three year old, you know, sitting there with a, an iPhone, I, I mean, to me, it's just outrageous. You know, I saw a young girl the other day and um, I mean, she had a, a low cut dress on and the phone was in a pocket on her bra. So we have the phone, I mean this is almost a recipe for guaranteed breast cancer at, um, at some future date. But this is the assault that we're having on the youth today. So the terraforming is literally being extended to the genetic manipulation of humanity through this assault, through pretty much everything that becomes part of their normal life. Because this is a synthesised lifestyle that people are living today, as opposed to the organic lifestyle of even you know, 50 years ago. And as we were discussing um, um, a few hours ago, you know, the most difficult people to have any kind of discussion that takes people outside of the orthodox consensus reality, the most pe difficult people our university graduates are people who have got doctorates because they have convinced themselves that their version of secular empirical material reality is definitive. 